Hello everyone, this is Credit giving you a shout cast between Liquid Huck spawning as the Red Protoss player on the south side of the map versus Root QXC spawning on the north side of the map here in the Zelnaga Caverns. So this will be Terran versus Protoss here in Zelnaga Caverns. Only two spawning locations, so both players do know where the other opponent is. And I am curious as to how these players will be trying to um, play this particular game. I believe this is um, part of a series. I'm only going to be able to cast this game in the series just because of time limitations, but I hope it is good. QXC making sure to try to mine with SCVs on those closer mineral patches and doing a good job in doing so, allowing him to get a higher rate of return is, yeah, Huck also doing the same thing as well. So both players keeping up on top of their macro, trying to get an essentially a faster economy than their opponent every which way possible liquid huck now getting about a slightly more economy but not by much as qxc now forced to bring off an scv in order to build a supply depot here you do see that qxc also sending out an scv to make sure that there are no proxy pylons anywhere inside his base and now making his way out with this SCV in order to do some scouting. A barracks being placed down over here. This is a standard placement for barracks on the north side of Zelnaga Caverns as it allows you to essentially wall off this location by another supply depot here, allowing you to protect yourself against any zealot rushes or any proxy pylon play in this location. And my apologies for not doing that. And back over here, Liquid Huck continuing to just uh, train up more and more probes. He's not chrono boosting. He maybe is trying to save that, perhaps for that Cybernetic core. But at some point, I think he would want to chrono boost and try to get more probes as his economy is very, very important. It's important for Protoss players to at least chrono boost out a couple probes in order to get a, a large economic league on top of these probes over here. And oh, ni oh no, um, Liquid Huck for one moment was surrounded, stuck in between those buildings over there. But now um, Liquid Huck was able to move out with this probe and then run away. QXC will be able to get that orbital command up in just a second. And with that, he should have a slight economic lead. And um, so yeah, that is going to benefit QXC significantly, calling down a mule and now building a factory all of this off of one gas so far i don't see a tech lab i don't see a second refinery so i'm curious as to what qxc really plans to do he could try to go for hellions with a starport train a medevac or he may um, just go for mass barracks. So we'll, we'll see what's happening. QXC normally it likes to expand sometime within the next minute. A lot of high level players want to expand around the five minute mark as they do not want to be, they do not want to fall behind economically speaking. Production wise, you can see factories being trained. The stalker is now trying to engage. Will be able to quickly shoot down that Marine. Marine not gonna be able to even walk up that ramp to get any serious sight at all. The probe was able to steal some gold minerals and now make its way home back over here the barracks has been trained has been placed down and now we also see a tech lab being placed down qxc is getting a bunker here and also has the ability to macro up a very very large army i'm surprised that huck has not set out a robotics facility just quite yet but perhaps he may be trying to warp in some sentries in just a moment and allowing sentries to gain up a lot of energy and allowing them to absorb a lot of damage from those marines marines damage from six down to four a hellion now making its way out across the map trying to make sure to stay out of sight from this one probe over here i believe the stalker may be able to catch it yeah and those stalkers gonna quickly cut off that one hellion as those stalkers do move fairly quickly and the stalker is just gonna sit right here and get some damage onto that hellion getting some damage already and now that hellion being forced to run away down to 70 hit points cannot take that much damage but marines and marauders now moving to activate this Elnaga watchtower here the pro being very smart deciding to try to run away but it will not work that one hellion will be able to get two shots onto it and take it down but it did see that there was no expansion here Still no expansion coming in from QXC. So QXC is going off of one base play. Hellions, Marines, and Marauders. Um, pretty standard um, build for one base for Terran. Um, and Ghost are also a nice introduction as well if you're able to get some nice EMP shockwaves off. But it does require a larger amount of gas as we now see a refinery being placed down. Hellions now looking to try to track down this one particular probe. That probe will get taken down in just a second. Looking There it goes. Taking one flame attack, two flames attacks. Down it goes. And now Marines and Marauders just activating this Elnaga Watchtower here. Huck still running off of three gateways 
with a robotics facility that robotics facility now training up observers marauders and now stalkers trying to engage back and forth i believe those stalkers could have turned around to and deal some critical damage towards that one hellion there there is is the concussive shell now being researched by those by that marauder and now those stalkers doing very very nice micro using that superior range to get a lot of damage in now going after some of those uh, marauders and now very very nicely done pulling back and huff doing a great job with this micro and pulling back with those with very very low hit point stalkers and not even doing it with stalker blink so huff winning out you can see the resources lost by qsc qxc compared to huck and now both players running off of one base huck has to be very very happy with himself knowing that his opponent doesn't have an expansion and there's not much he can do qxc is upgrading on orbital command here now hellion's gonna try to walk outside and oh quickly take some damage it will get shot down very easily by those five stalkers sitting outside that front door marines and marauders do not want to try to test that as more stalkers are still being joined or joining up with this army one observer now in the air and able to see up onto that high ground and that is going to be very very critical as those stalkers are going to be able to perhaps just shoot down one of those scvs the marauder does have a range of seven while inside that one bunker so the stalkers perhaps going to just try to charge up oh no taking a lot of damage there down goes one stalker the observer perhaps should just sit right here allowing those stalkers to get some damage onto that command center and then making it mo much more difficult to try to lift it off and re-establish that expansion you can see now medevacs are being trained over here by qxc off of this reactor so it looks like it's simply going to be mass marine marauder there is also a factory hiding out over here so a little bit curious as to what that's for uh, perhaps we will see some hellions being trained off and then trying to do some suicide runs on these mineral patches back over here there is one hellion still or sorry one observer still in the air offering sight up onto that high ground and are we getting some sentries oh sentries joining in on this army should become a very very nice addition perhaps getting some force fields down preventing those marines and those marauders from being able to retreat back up that ramp is it going to work though the medevacs do the marines see those sentries this is the key question yes they do see the sentries well as one force field has been placed down oh poor stalker getting a little bit too close quickly gonna get caught out of position there and the marines able to stem back liquid hug has to be very careful though he cannot try to um, just sit in or just try to siege this base for far too long as qxc is constantly training up more and more units especially with the addition of those medevacs those medevacs can elevator units down to the low ground and then allow for a decent flank if the units try to siege out over here very very smart play by huck huck deciding to pull back a little bit try to regather his units and perhaps mount up another attack somewhere else oh double pylons over here one stalker should be able to finish off this hellion without any serious issue at all that hellion needs to back off already down to 40 hit points um, it is a cons it is a light unit so it doesn't take the full damage as now qxc ex establishing this expansion here perhaps it will call down some mules transfer some scvs over and now qxc is running off of two bases we now also see the ghost academy coming in so this is going to be a, a what three or four racks play marines marauders and ghost we could also see um, some nukes as well so this is going to be very very interesting to see how those emp shockwaves and those nukes are going to be used i don't see any ghosts currently being trained just more marauders needs to get some additional um additional refineries down over here perhaps for some more gas but you can already see qxc sitting on a large amount of gas taking a look at huck huck trying to get his economy up and going queuing up four to five probes in his bases and now also having stalkers sitting over here perhaps he's expecting meta um, banshees or a drop play of some sort qxc is very very well known for liking to do a multiple drops at the same time dropping at the main base and the natural expansion and that's one of the benefits of terran terran has a very very effective army that is relatively small as they um, as the marines and marauders are both range units and the medevacs also act as healers allowing more longevity and more damage coming in from those marines and marauders medevac now just on the move with those marines and marauders in the air ghost now being trained level one infantry upgrade also being trained up as well one observer keeping track of this army a stalker getting some damage onto that marine the marine however being very very smart to pull back doesn't want to engage or try to chase after that stalker colossi now being trained up as well and as soon as that colossus is spotted i believe we should start seeing double vikings yeah the vikings now being trained up as we already saw the robotics bay or he was able to spot the colossus and now he knows he needs to get vikings qxc needs to get vikings in order to battle the colossus 
And now we should also see some high Templar being added in. Oh, in comes some very nice force fields preventing Marauders and Marines from being able to retreat there. More force fields coming in once again, but very, very nicely done. The Colossus able to break through those force fields as the Medevac picking up those units there. Will the Medevac be able to escape? It looks like it will. The Colossus trying to chase against the rest of those Marauders over here. And now this Medevac going to do instead do a drop into this location here. So that may be effective as in the Medevac um, is pretty much unaccounted for at this time as those Stalkers and Colossus now trying to move away. You can see there are Vikings in the air. More Medevacs need to be trained. But this one Medevac may be able to get in some critical damage onto these key production buildings over here. There are some Stalkers over here. The Marauders now coming in. The Marauders have to be very careful. They'll need to fight against those Stalkers down over here. We'll be able to finish off some of them. This one Marauder very low on hit points. They'll finally being healed by that Medevac. And now finally joining in. We can see the Marauder and the Zealot trying to exchange over here. Force fields and Vikings now back over here. Colossus with with the extended thermal lance range and now some EMP shockwaves to follow it up. And Liquid Huck is in retreat. Zealots now warped in over here, able to get some damage onto some more of those Marauders. Only a Marauder and a Marine left in that medevac, and those Stalkers may be able to intercept it. I do. Will, will they be able to? That is going to be the key question. Uh, no, medevac down over here, quickly going to get shot down. Down it goes. Medevac and or Marauder and Marine also getting cleaned up. Army wise, Liquid Huck with a slight advantage. Income wise, QXC calling down more mules, getting in a very, very strong economy. Once again, calling in four mules at this time, getting up, a, what, 2,200 minerals per minute. Zealots and Stalkers looking to take down these destructible rocks and establish an expansion over here. There is an observer in the air still keeping track of this Marauder Marine a Viking Ghost Army. We should be seeing some medevacs joining in on on that group as well. Otherwise, those Marauders and Marines are going to get eaten up very, very quickly. The Vikings, however, should be able to deal with those Colossi and, and then go into ground mode if the battle lasts that long. Two Colossus on the far side almost going to get shot down by those Vikings. A nice scanner sweep there, revealing that one observer and now QXC attempting to take down these destructible rocks. And the game is still too close to call. But if I say if there was an advantage by anyone, I would say that Huck currently has the advantage. Huck um, so far hasn't lost nearly as many units, has a slightly stronger economy. He does have weapons upgrade, one zero upgrades, and now getting the Zealot Charge and the Ground Armor upgrades. He has the Twilight Council for level two upgrades compared to the Marauders, which only have one zero upgrades right now and no armory in sight. Viking now making its way down over here to the south side, a probe with a pylon able to activate the Zelnaga watchtower here. Bunkers now being placed down. And now Vikings, Marines, Ghost. Still no medevacs. And now High Templars being added to the army. So High Templar with Psystorm are going to become very, very crucial to this army. Liquid Huck still sitting on about a 6,000 mineral army now. 5,500 compared to 5,000. One poor probe out and getting caught out of position there. The Stalkers do not have Stalker Blink. So they will not be able to get underneath these Vikings anytime soon and those Vikings with such a superior range cannot be challenged in the sky by either Void Rays, Carriers, or um, or Phoenixes. I believe actually Phoenixes may be able to win in a one-on-one -on -one battle. I've done that experiment before but it's not really worth it to try to invest so much into Phoenixes especially in a Terran versus Protoss matchup. A lot of Vikings now in the air. 12 Vikings in the air able to deal 24 damage per attack. I believe that's enough to two-shot um, a Colossus very, very easily. So four seconds to shoot down one Colossus. But now we are getting some High Templar. Psystorm now being researched as well. We should be seeing some more High Templars being warped in, allowing them to slowly gather up more energy. And now Marauders trying to make sure that there is not a Nexus over here. The Marauders are going to quickly come into this position, see that there isn't a Nexus, and perhaps just hang out here. We now see additional pylons being placed on by Huck, so a lot of pylons being placed on by Huck. And now this probe going to try to deal some damage onto this SCV over here. I do not believe the barracks is actually... Oh, it does spot this one pylon over here. And now Zealots were able to warp in and now finish off the rest of those Marauders. 1-1 one, one upgrades have been completed. Level 2 ground armor upgrades now being completed, allowing those Colossi to perhaps absorb more damage from those Vikings. SCV now wandering around the map looking to see um, how many pylons are down. There are a lot of proxy pylons in play. Zealots now trying to wander in. Quickly going to get taken down by those Marauders with those concussive shells with Marine support. 
amulet research now being researched we are going to ship level one upgrades level two infantry and armor upgrades stalker blink just a lot in the pro in the tab right production tab and a fusion core okay so the fusion core now being built and that is going to be a very very interesting addition will we see battle cruisers with yamada cannon um i have not seen a lot of battle cruiser play especially against stalkers with stalker blink stalker blink um, allowing those stalkers to move significantly faster than those battle cruisers and blink in and out we now see a lot of guardian shields so those guardian shields now trying to move out very very important that huck gets up those guardian shields first before those ghosts are able to get off any emp shockwaves marauder is going to be able to just stim down take down this nexus we now see a couple of colossus now coming in poor colossus now quickly getting sniped down these marauders are going to get taken down relatively easily but um, the Nexus has been taken down and hurting the economy even further. QXC now perhaps going to try to get in some EMP shockwaves, doing some damage towards this Nexus over here. Vikings are in position. Zell is now trying to run in. A very large army on both sides. 7,000 versus 7,000 essentially. Force fields now coming in. What, EMP shockwave we're just depleting all the shields over here. And now Huff just trying to attack move with these Colossi, doing a lot of damage against those Marauders. There are a lot of Stalkers on the ground. And Huck, yes, Huck is dominating right now. Huck QXC trying to retreat will be forced to retreat back to his planetary fortress. And now with so many High Templar, eight of them, those High Templar are going to be able to deal so much damage across the board. Those High Templar need to pull back though. The Vikings are in position. More SCVs going to get size storm. So many SCVs going to get taken down over here, trying to just walk through between this. The planetary fortress now going after these Archons that are currently being warped in over here as the Colossus and Stalkers continue to push. SCVs trying to repair, unable to. Vikings are over here. Will the Vikings be able to get any damage? Doesn't look like it as there are Stalkers now warping in over here. It looks like the Archons were quickly getting taken down over here. One or more, don't know. The Archons now joining in on the fight will be able to get on a lot of an anti-biological damage against these Marauders and Marines. Stalkers now trying to finish it up and Liquid Huck. And I think he just attacked moved and was a little overzealous in his attack if he had just focused over here to try to take down the planetary fortress it may have worked out much much better as he had stalkers he had colossus the colossus had the extended thermal lance range able to get in a lot of damage marauders and what marauders and, and marines now trying to fight back over here the zealots now giving chase the marauders are using those stim packs so chasing after those units but in comes another side storm vikings now trying to um, shoo away one of those colossi will be able to shoo it away two colossi over here trying to run away from those vikings as the zealots are now coming in the zealots very very important in making sure that those scvs are all going to get taken down unable to repair the planetary fortress vikings now trying to deal some damage but there is going to be an army of stalkers coming in in just a second blinking underneath those vikings down they go qxc losing multiple vikings pretty needlessly and now this planetary fortress down to 100 hit points may get taken down oh yes gonna get taken down the stalkers just need to engage and focus down that planetary fortress it looks like it is not gonna get oh it is gonna get focused down in time even though the marauders and marines are now coming in to give chase once again qxc now running off of one base compared to the two bases of liquid huck huck in a still in a very very dominant position zealots now trying to chase after those marauders and marines trying to turn around jumping inside that bunker just before it's destroyed and now the marauders and marines just trying to run back once again a pylon already being set up in expectation to be able to warp in some additional units zealots now just charging in once again and now more damage is still being dealt the colossi should be able to just hang out over here perhaps take down those marauders but there are some vikings nearby these um, these pylons should just get canceled yeah getting canceled there but a lot of zealots denying this expansion here and now also a probe looking over here there is one planetary fortress and that planetary fortress now taking a fair amount of damage by colossus the stalkers are nearby to prevent any vikings from dealing any damage but the marauders looking to deal damage over here are we going to get some emp shockwaves we might down goes one of those high templar the zealots now trying to use that charge another zealot being warped in but the marauders able to snipe down this nexus and now zealots joining in on the fight to try to take down the planetary fortress the mules now being brought over to try to repair as the marauders and the marines coming to take down this low ground expansion a very very low hit point group of marauders and marines a lot of damage is being dealt there are two vikings in the air as those zealots and probes coming off the mineral line in order to finish off this fight the colossus continuing to deal damage towards the planetary fortress it does have an armor of three reducing the amount of damage by and um, by six and now in quickly in come those stalkers stalkers and the tipping scale able to deal more damage than those scvs are able to repair 
Marauders are now down over here trying to finish off more of these probes. Those probes are now just doing some long distance mining back and forth as these rocks are not destroyed. There is another Nexus over here. Liquid Hawk continuing to just uh, push with his superior forces. Three, uh, one, one, three upgrades. So three armor upgrades preventing many of those Vikings from being able to deal any serious damage. I don't see any battle cruisers anywhere production wise. Um, nothing really being trained. Not quite sure what the fusion core was for at all. As those stalkers now, um, wow, as those stalkers are now pushing in, dealing some damage towards that one. Um, Vespian Geysers are now able to walk up that ramp, blink up this ramp here, and QXC says GG. So QXC losing the Huck here in the here in Zalnaga Caverns. Um, just really, really dominant play by Liquid Huck. Huck doing such a great job expanding across the map, being everywhere at once, opting to go for armor upgrades, reducing the amount of damage that those Vikings were able to do from, I believe, yeah, level, yeah, level 1 weapons upgrade. So t from 30 down to 22. So yeah, that is significant upgrades, making it so that those uh, Vikings had a very, very difficult time trying to shoot them down. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Root QXC and Team Liquid's Huck here in the Zelnaga Caverns.